18 children, a teacher, are dead following a horrific shooting at a Texas elementary school. At least three other victims remain in serious condition tonight. The gunman also dead. And today's attack is among the deadliest school shootings in U.S. history. And President Biden addressed the tragedy a short time ago. WJN's Jenna Barnes is in our newsroom tonight with the very latest. Jenna. Greg and Micah, those children were just two days away from summer break. Police are still working to tell their parents they are not coming home. And tonight, President Joe Biden says it's time as a country to turn pain into action. I had hoped when I became president I would not have to do this again. President Joe Biden once again consoling the nation after a massacre. 18 children and a teacher murdered at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. Beautiful, innocent, second, third, fourth graders. <clears throat> And how many scores of little children who witnessed what happened see their friends die as if they're on a battlefield, for God's sake? Texas Governor Greg Abbott says the shooter, 18-year-old high school student Salvador Ramos, shot his grandmother before gunning down the victims in the school. The governor says responding officers killed the shooter. Two officers were also shot, but he says they're expected to be okay. Our job is multifold. First, uh, to make sure we uh, address exactly what happened at this crime scene, uh, and then second, to make sure we take that information and do everything that is necessary to ensure that crime scenes like this are not going to be repeated in, in the future. As police worked into the night to notify families of the dead, desperate parents went to the scene where they dropped off their children hours earlier, now fearing they may not come home. I keep asking questions of what's going on, and nobody's telling me anything. No one is telling me, telling me anything. I'm just, just confused and worried. I'm trying to find out where my baby's at. It is the deadliest grade school shooting since Sandy Hook in Connecticut nearly a decade ago. Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy begging his fellow lawmakers for stricter gun control. Sandy Hook will never, ever be the same. This community in Texas will never, ever be the same. Why? Why are we here? if not to try to make sure that fewer schools and fewer communities go through what Sandy Hook has gone through, what Uvalde is going through. A sentiment echoed by the president, who's calling on the country to confront what is a uniquely American crisis. But these kinds of mass shootings never happen with the kind of frequency they happen in America. Why? Why are we willing to live with this carnage? Why do we keep letting this happen? Where in God's name is our backbone? The number of injured remains unclear tonight, but a hospital in San Antonio, about 85 miles away from Uvalde, says it's treating a 66-year-old woman, two 10-year-old girls, and a 9-year-old girl. Ray and Micah. Thank you, Jenna.